Hello guys, I'm Rusin Tanjil Dosharov and today we are going to take an interview from Medina Khonrvayeva. So our guest is Khonrvayeva Medina and I'm really glad to take an interview and get knowledge from your background and your experience in education. So Medina, firstly could you tell more about yourself? And could you uh, introduce yourself to our active listeners? Uh, hi everyone, my name is Medina. I am from Kerako, Kyrgyzstan. And uh, right now I am an NGA student in uh, AUCA. Uh, before that, I finished school number gymnasium, school gymnasium number 11 in Kerako. And uh, yeah, my hobbies are debating, volunteering. Uh, also, I like reading books, and right now I am also conducting lessons in my own project, uh, teaching students English language. So, Medina, you said that you are conducting uh, lessons. Uh, is it online or offline lessons? Uh, it is online lessons. They are online lessons because uh, I don't really have time to get from campus or my dormitory to another place because it takes lots of time. Uh, Medina, as, as we know, the battle between online and offline learning is really relevant nowadays. Somebody, somebody likes uh, studying online, but, but meanwhile others are heading to uh, Zoom, se Zoom sessions. And how is, your, Medina, how is your opinion in this topic and how do you think which one is better? So uh, it's like a very difficult question and I think my answer will be like two-sided too. Because for me, it's better to learn for myself on offline, but I am teaching my students online. <laughs> uh, and do, Medina, do you have your uh, flexible schedule while you are teaching or while you are studying in, uh, in maybe in some in some online projects? Mm -hmm. And uh, if yes, and how do you think? Why is it really important? So I think flexible schedule, yes, it's very important because uh, we are people and we should have um, a flexible schedule so that we will live really good and complete lives. And I think that uh, it's easier to have a flexible schedule with online learning because uh, you can learn anytime you want. But if it's offline learning, then you should, um, you should have it's it's harder to get a flexible schedule and also it takes time as i've already said to get to the place where you're studying now uh, regardless offline or online lessons and how do you think why all students should be engaged in class sessions and having open conversation with professors or teachers how is your opinion could you share it please uh, as you've said, yes, I agree on that uh, statement that all students should be actively engaged in participation uh, in the activities of the class and also they should be able to have an open-minded uh, conversation and discussion with the professor, yes. And uh, I think uh, for this question, both online and traditional learning it's, is okay because uh, regardless you are uh, you're talking with a professor face to face, like you're in one building or regardless that you're on Zoom and you can just see each other uh, on screen, you can be actively participating in the lesson. Because in my uh, case, when I was studying uh, at school and I, while I'm studying here in the UC, I can uh, easily uh, talk with my professors. And uh, also uh, as I'm a teacher myself, uh, in my online lessons, uh, we have a privacy, not a pri we have a policy that all students should be participating in the lessons, the whole lesson with turned on cameras, and they should also actively listen. And um, we, uh, so I am not the only teacher there. I also have my friend. We are we teach together, and we always ask questions uh, to our students and uh, all of them are engaged because, for example, if I ask one question from one student, then I ask uh, each student's opinion. So they are actively participating in our lessons. 
So Medina, you said that you have your own project where you are teaching mm -hmm. uh, some students. And Medina, could you share your experience uh, with your teaching and how is your lessons are holding? Uh, so um, it's I, I really like teaching, first of all, and uh, I also try to uh, do my best to prepare really good lessons because, uh, well, if I'm doing that, then I should do it for 100%. And uh, how do we do that? Uh, well, uh, our lessons is not only about learning English, but it's also about learning different topics through English. So you both learn something new and also you learn it in English. And uh, for example, we uh, have topics and lessons, for example, such as uh, entrepreneurship and um, ecology, food, uh, music, feelings. And uh, while we are learning these topics, we uh, teach our students to tell their opinions and also uh, think about advantages and disadvantages of something, uh, agree or disagree in, uh, with some quotes of uh, famous people. And uh, we also add some grammar, but it's like a little part of it. Uh, so thank you, Medina, for sharing your opinion. And uh, you you are teaching online, right? Yeah. And uh, is it really uh, comfortable for you to teach online? And and how, how do you think? Uh, uh, why is is it important to to teach someone or hold your lessons? or study on, online or offline regardless mm -hmm. in your desi desired classes, maybe in your pajamas or something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I think you're asking about like classes, how you feel when you are teaching and uh, like you're at home or, or not, whether yeah. you're wearing uniform yeah. or not, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, I think yes, it's very easy when you're teaching online because, uh, for example, I don't have to uh, prepare my uh, suit or my uh, clothes that I wear like, for the university or outside. I just can wear something clean and good and what is comfortable for me. And uh, usually I don't really think about what I am going to wear before my online classes. Uh, vice versa, if I go somewhere, then I should take care of it. Mm. Uh, so, Medina, um, uh do you, did you have some experience uh, of uh, studying uh, offline or online sessions from professors or teachers? If yes, and how do you think? Why uh, is it is it really important to you know, to take a break? Uh, why oh, to take a break between the lessons. Uh, I also understand how it's really important to, how it's really difficult uh, to study when you have four or six lessons mm -hmm. uh, no, without no breaks. Yeah. And how do you think, why is it really important to take a break? Uh, I think it's important to take a break regardless of uh, the type of learning, if it's traditional or online, because uh, people say that our brain cannot concentrate uh, like for a long period of time, and it's important to, well, you can study at first, and then for some uh, period you, are, you, you take some rest, and then your brain is uh, feeling better, and then you can study again. So uh, yeah, here in AUC we have classes and they last for one hour and 15 minutes long. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that we have a break like for five, 10 minutes. And I think it's really good because you get really tired. You don't want to do anything. You want to sleep. Maybe you want to drink water. And that's, that time is really good to go out and uh, take some walk and uh, breathe some air. And then you, you feel good. Uh, well, I had some experience learning online uh, during the quarantine and it was really hard at that time because uh, we had like six lessons in a row and there were no breaks. For example, also we studied in WhatsApp, you know, <laughs> for example, in uh, at eight we have a lesson math and it's like for 45 minutes and then it finishes and in another group there's already a teacher writing like, good morning, we're starting a lesson and like for six hours you're 
brain is like burned. So thanks so much, Medina. And uh, in the the next problem for all students, especially especially in our country, is uh, having no feedbacks from teachers and having no individual uh, consulting from professors. And how is your personal opinion? Why? Uh, it is also take some crucial role in how it can be impactful on, on students' excellence. Mm, I think it's very important for students to get some feedback from the teacher and uh, feedback is important for uh, a student so that he or she will know if he or she is right or not, if he or she is understanding the material or not and then uh, if, uh, if not then uh, a student will be able to uh, work on mistakes and become better. So uh, I think uh, it depends, uh, well, I think in both situations, in online or traditional learning, uh, you can both get some feedback or not get. Mm -hmm. And it depends not only on the teacher, but also on the student. For example, uh, as I can say, uh, if I like the teacher and if I'm sure that teacher is going to help me, that he, the teacher will be kind and will not scold me, then I will go for the feedback. But if not, then I will try to do it myself. Mm. I will try to find some materials uh, and learn everything myself. But I think it's not really good and uh, maybe it would be good for me to work on it. Mm. So, Medina, did you have some experience of uh, taking feedbacks from professors or individual consulting? And if yes, could you share, please, just a little bit to our listeners? <laughs> okay, so, um, well, I don't know how, which exactly feedback, like, uh, for example, face-to-face -face feedback when the teacher tells you something, or, for example, in uh, my academic writing class, we uh, write some essays, we send them, and then our teacher, our professor, Nate Mandala, he gives us feedback. And it's very big, and you can read it, and you can work on your uh, mistakes. So, yeah, that's, that is one example of the feedback that I got from my professor. So, uh, Medina, thank you so much uh, for answering a little bit difficult questions. And uh, I'm really glad to get the knowledge from your background, from your experience. And, uh, and I'm sure that this interview will be helpful to all our uh, listeners and to all the students who are studying offline or online sessions. And thanks so much, Medina. And I hope that it was not the single time of having interview from you. And I hope that uh, we will be doing it next time also. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for uh, inviting me and uh, listening to my opinion. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, uh, thanks so much for watching our show for our podcast uh, till the end and we are we should be a little warm because it's really cold outside and but it's really beautiful here as you can see so guys put like buttons and subscribe